Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose. And I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly love and appreciate you guys. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Figure we get some messages for you. Let's see what we're pulling out today. No one compares to you. They can't make me feel the way you do. I judged you. You don't look at me the same. And I didn't value what we had. I'm pretending that everything is fine. Okay. Well, someone wants to have a conversation <laughs> with you. Um, whoever they are with now, they do not compare to you and they feel like they judge the situation prematurely. Um, can't tell if this is old or new. You don't look at this person the same anymore and they didn't value what they had with you. Let me pull one more of these. I will always love you here and I need you. Ace of Cups, wow. This person wants a new beginning with you. They wanna reconcile something, they want to they want to love you again, whoever this is. Didn't expect that to pop off as easy as it did. King of Pentacles in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. You do not look at them the same at all. You just don't. Um, damn. You would rather walk, I mean, I. this is a hell no, is what it looks like. Um, ooh. Why the hang one? You would feel like this person wouldn't be all the way in anyway, and you would have to do all the hard work. You may not recover from something like this because they don't see the blessing in it and they look for new desires elsewhere. Um, Ace of Pentacles is here, damn, towards the lovers, Queen of Swords. I guess the question moving forward, are you gonna go towards love? Because I see Ace of Pentacles being here as well. Um, or are you gonna go towards your ambitions this time? My, my, how the tables have turned. It's, it's kind of like you're going towards your ambitions now. These relationships are just that, just relationships. Like you're not really look moving on at the bottom of the deck when it comes to them. Um, it's not that you don't want love, but it's not so prominent. But love is coming towards you, rather <laughs> regardless. Um, yes, you have a, a couple of people wanting a relationship with you. Um, Uh, I think kind of when it comes towards going to love, to, when it comes to going towards love, you're very balanced right now. Um, but you don't like the fact that you can't really tell offhand what this person's gonna bring. Like, you know, you wish you had a, a way of looking in and going, is this person gonna be on bullshit? Is this person gonna be true? Is this person gonna just be an asshole? Like, there's no way to know this unless you get to know people. You know, there's no way around that. Um, because you looked at the past and what you've had in the past and the choices that you've made in the past. And it, it's putting you in more like an indecisive mode right now of do I want love, do I not? Is it a burden? Is it something that's beautiful? You know, um, I just want to take a rest. You could be a Virgo as well, Pisces energy up here. I got a lot of water energy up here. Um, it's like, you're like, I, I kind of, I like who I am and, and I'm, I'm going to take solitude right now. It could be because of the way love has been in the past. It's been very burdensome. Um, I feel like I just went on a whole rant. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but it's like a level of anxiety comes up a little bit with dating, um, especially with this, everything is fine with 10 swords in your back. like. You want to be able to go out there and do that and date other people and, and see what's up. But there's an anxiety here, and it really just goes right back to the past and how people have treated you. Um, you know, the relationships that you took seriously 
um, that you brought this person into your life with, the, the relationships that you were committed, but this other person may not have been as committed as you were. You know, you had to stand in your strength against a lot. Um, you will get some communication. Oh, about a new opportunity. I feel like you might move, literally. Um, this is action. You might move with the Ten of Cups and the Fool. Yeah, um, maybe the location will help to change or shift in energy here too. I feel like you just really, like, when you look at, you know, of course, we all want love. At the same time, you want true love. So you're just kind of hesitant at the choices that are coming towards you right now. You're going to get a victory off of something that started very small. Um, started very small and people were... Mm. It started very small. You got some people that are like potential haters. Um, I don't know. I don't know if maybe you excelled quicker than they did and so they feel a little betrayed here. This is very strange. This don't feel like love. This feels like maybe friends, family members, people didn't expect you to be as successful as you're being. Um, maybe people are being weird towards you lately or acting out. I don't know. The Seven of Wands in reverse. Like, they feel like they can't compete with you. So they try to work with you in other ways, but the devil is right behind it. Like, maybe somebody's trying to, to use you or get opportunity off of you or off of your name or some kind of way. They're trying to benefit off of you. But it's the devil right behind it. It's like this is somebody being codependent on you. They're using you to get what they need. The sun being here. It could be a Leo as well. This could be a fire sign doing this. Judgment. This is going to end. You will, you will have to walk away from whoever this is. You'll start to see them for who they really are. Uh, um, it's kind of like... You're able to manifest a lot more towards your goals when you keep them to yourself. You have a lot of people that want to see you not do, I don't want to say fail, because I hate to say that, you know, but it's true. A lot of people want to see you fail. They just, how dare you be doing better than me is the feel that I get here. What you don't see coming is this is friends. This is people that know you, honey. There's people that have known you for a long time. And you feel like you got to defend yourself against them. This is a, like, this is going to cause some issues. Thir th three of Swords here, it, it feels like family with this Three of Swords. This is, this is close. You may have to literally walk away from somebody that was close to you. Um, time will heal that. There's nothing you can do but give that relationship time. Because eventually you'll, that person will come around and offer you an apology. Um because you will still move on. They don't want to be left behind. You will still move on. Um, you know, and now you're more selective of who's in your circle. Like, literally, you're more selective of who's in your circle because now you realize even though what you're doing, you're thinking of it in a positive light, you're trying to help people. The money comes in, but your, your main goal is to help. A lot of people can't do what you're doing, so it's causing you to be more selective of who can be around you and what they can know of what you're doing because you just protected your energy right now, okay? Um, but, uh, there's nothing you can do when it comes to some of these situations. They have to come to an end. That's just the way this goes. That has, that's like a divine, the divine is at play here. You can't really do much, but hold your peace and say your peace. That's all you can do when it comes to that. Um, Get some last messages here. Oof. Tell the truth. Speak your peace. 
when this does come up, um, you've had your spiritual awakening, you know who you are. Okay? Um, this could be a water sign or you could be. This could also be an ex-lover. Um, this could be an ex-lover that tried to dominate you sexually as well, but this person was poisoned. Wasn't much you could do here. Um, there are karmics that want to take your place, okay? They will lie, manipulate, and, and be deceitful to try to get that. Um, you got to move on from whoever these people are, okay? Oh, shit, somebody has a secret crush on you. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> that energy just switched up real quick. <laughs> This is involving your finances, so this could be somebody that you work with. This could be new. Um, why betrayal? Oh, Lord. Be careful of the secret crush, honey. They wear a mask, and they have a really big ego, whoever that is. Your self-discipline will come into play when it comes to this, so you'll know how to handle whoever this secret crush is. But that, that was weird. <laughs> somebody crushes on you that wears a mask and has a huge ego, but they will betray you if they have the opportunity. So stay focused. Stay focused on your money. That's really your main message there. We don't shit where we eat. This person is at work. The answer is a big ass no. You are extremely, when you, uh, ugh, I can't even talk. You are extremely attractive when you're working on yourself. So please continue to do so. Uh, I am going to pull a card for you when it comes to um, love because I know why you got anxiety now. Good God. It's like people come towards you like you give people clout. I don't know who you are, but people come towards you for the wrong reasons a lot of the time. Um, calling in your soulmate is here. Playfulness codependency and children Jesus Ooh. I think when it comes to these third-party situations it's kind of I mean you may have kids you may not have kids the people you date may have kids may not have kids but because people have had other situations and other relationships prior to being with you that has a lot to do with this three of swords I, I don't I don't want you to get caught up on that. Like, I can't date anybody that has kids because, like, come on. That's kind of ridiculous. But your love life is being affected by children. It's just the people that you're, you've chosen in the past didn't sew up a lot of relationships from their past, if that makes sense, which caused codependency with the two people. Um, but a soulmate is coming in. I don't know why the spirit wanted you to hear that message, but a soulmate is coming in. Be playful with this person when they do come. Make the effort is here and let go of any control issues that you think you might have. Um, you were in separation from, or you are in separation from this soulmate right now, but divine timing is at work in your love life and that's the reason. So they will be worth waiting for. They could be dealing with somebody that's codependent, that they have a child with, that they're trying to figure out how the hell I can get this situated. You know what I mean? So. Um, it's a lot of layers there, but be patient. Um, this person is worth waiting for, and this will be a soulmate for you, okay? Express your love when this person comes around. Um, go ahead and make the romantic gesture is here, but remember divine timing is at play. So although you're in separation right now, you will be aligned very quickly at some point. But this person, it, again, is just staring out to me. This person is dealing with an ex that's codependent. So they're trying to fix that, hence the separation and divine timing being at play. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope that resonated with you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.